How to crop a picture to a different shape. Hey everyone, it's Deborah, and I'm going to show you here how to insert a photograph or a picture and then how to crop that picture to a different size and shape. So right on my screen I've got a slide from a PowerPoint presentation and in this blank area on the right hand side of the slide I'm going to put in a picture. So the first thing you have to do when you want to bring in something is to go to the insert tab up here on the ribbon. So when you click insert then you can choose what it is you want to insert and in this case I want to insert a picture. So I'm going to go to the pictures button here in the images group. I'm going to click pictures and it's asking me well where do you want to insert the picture from? A picture from that's already saved on this device or um, or stock images or online pictures. So online pictures are pictures that you get off the internet and you can find them very easily that way. Stock images is a new feature in uh, PowerPoint 2019 and 365 and so I'm going to go ahead and choose that one. Now stock images are pretty cool. If you look up here at the top it, that's the default setting for this but you can also pick from icons, cutout people, and stickers. Okay, I'm going to go back to stock images and as you can see there's lots of different ones to pick from. You can even do a search if you want to look for a specific topic. Okay, let's say that I want to insert this picture. So I single click to select it and then I click insert right here. Now when you do that you never know how big something's going to be. It could be small or it could be large. Most of the time it's large. I'm going to close the design ideas pane and I'm going to resize this picture by grabbing the corner resizing handle in the upper right corner or I could use the left one, doesn't matter, any corner and I'm going to click and drag inward to resize it and then I can also click and drag it to where I want it to go. Okay, I'm going to bring it a little bit smaller than that, right about there. Okay, so I'm happy with the picture, but I don't like the square shape, okay? There's too many rectangular shapes, too many sharp corners here. Um, I'd like to have a sort of a softer shape to it. So what I can do is I can uh, place my mouse on top of the picture and then double click and what that does is it brings up the picture format contextual tab up here at the top. Now notice that the resizing handles are displayed. If I were to click away from the picture in the any area away from it, then that contextual tab that I can use to format this picture goes away and I can't get it back unless I click on that picture again. Now if I single click on it, the picture format tab shows up but it doesn't come forward. I have to click on that to bring it forward and these are all of the different things I can do to this picture. Another way to do that is uh, to double click on the picture and that also will not only display the picture format contextual tab but it also brings it forward on the ribbon so that I have all these different tools to work with to format this picture and make it look a certain way. Okay, if I want to just crop this picture to a different shape, then first I need to make sure that I've selected the picture, make sure that you see the little dots going around the outer edge. Okay, if they're not there, just single click on the picture to bring them. Then in the right hand side of the ribbon, you'll see a crop tool. When you click the bottom half, when you, well, okay, when you click the top half of that button, it instantly brings up the cropping resizing handles. These are the black corners and bars that you can use to resize it. Uh, if I had not done that, if I had instead chosen the bottom half of the crop tool, then I have more choices other than just to crop it. So if I just wanted to crop the picture and keep the shape that it is, I could click crop and I can just grab one of these black resizing handles 
very carefully bring them down, maybe bring it up. Okay, let's say this is the picture I want and I want to get rid of all this other superfluous stuff on the outside. Well, now that I've done this, all I have to do to, to make it happen is to click outside of the picture and there is the new cropped picture. Well, I don't like what I did here, so I'm going to undo it. And by the way, in addition to clicking the undo button, which is way up here in the upper left uh, corner of your screen, another very quick way to undo the, just the last thing that you did is to hold down the CTRL or control key on your keyboard. And while you're holding that down, tap the letter Z for zebra. So control and Z will undo the very last thing that you did. Okay, so now what I want to do is, uh, it's back to the original uh, size or shape, so what I want to do is crop this to a specific different shape. So I'm going to double click on the picture to get the picture formatting contextual ribbon. I'm going to go to crop, click the bottom part of it, and this time I'm going to hover right here where it says crop to shape. So when I hover there, it brings up this huge menu of choices and I can choose any of these shapes to uh, change my picture into. So I can make it look like an arrow or I can make it look like a heart. Let's, I'll just pick the heart for now. Okay, so it did that. It cropped the picture to that shape. And if I don't like it, I can go back to the same tool and try something different. Okay, so let's say that the, this is the one I like. If I'm happy with that, I can click away and I can even click and drag it around and it will retain its new shape. If you have any questions, please let me know or look it up in your textbook.